it's done. It's finally done. This is the most color I have in my whole room. Hi everyone, my name is Nika Gabrielle. In this video, I'm going to be giving my bedroom another makeover. I say another because if you follow my channel for a while, you'll know that I completely redid my room just a couple years ago. In that video, I ended up repainting the borders, painting the walls too, donated and decluttered a bunch, and then purchased some more aesthetic pieces. Speaking of aesthetic, the theme for that makeover was minimal and aesthetic, but as you can see, I've definitely accumulated a lot more things since then, so I don't think minimal really fits my style anymore. So the goal for this makeover is to still keep the aesthetics. I've definitely embraced more of a neutral, earthy tone aesthetic, but to also make the room a lot more functional. So let me take you guys and give you a quick overview of what my room currently looks like because it's definitely changed a lot since the original video just so you guys can see a before and after of what my room looks like. As you can see, the layout is more or less the same. I just have some new pieces of furniture which is all up against the walls. But I am starting to feel like I'm running out of room to put things. And then let's talk about this big blank space in the middle that's just not utilized. <laughs> so as much as I love the look of this empty space, I do feel like it's kind of a waste. The main piece that I want to move is actually my mirror. When I got it, this was the only place I could really put it and for a while it was fine. But then I noticed because I have north facing windows, this corner of my room gets really dark and it's not optimal for mirror selfies or just looking at the mirror in general because that corner of the room gets so dark. My plan is to actually move the mirror to the corner of my room next to the window so that it gets more direct sunlight. This means I'm going to have to move my bed and I've decided to put it back in the center of my room under the shelf. From there, I'll rearrange furniture where I see fit, but those are the main two pieces that I have planned out. It's done. It's finally done. <laughs> Room update time! Starting off at the entrance of my bedroom, the first thing you'll see to the left is my bookshelf. Now this hasn't moved since my last tour, but I've obviously changed how I decorated it. So let me pull you in and show you in detail. This is a quick overview of the bookshelf. 
as you can see, a lot more display items compared to books, but I love it that way. Excuse the lighting, but let's talk about the first most obvious change of this bookshelf, the mirror. <laughs> I finally caved and got the circle mirror from Target. I really love this setup because of how the light comes in and reflects off of it. I know it looks a little harsh right now, but trust me, in person, it looks great. And I actually think it's really pretty how my perfumes reflect off the mirror. Now let's move on to details of my top shelf. So first we have my crystal bracelets here. I've gotten these from a few places um, and as you can see I stick to neutral colors just so it matches with my outfits and then I also have it in this selenite crystal bowl that I actually got from my last trip to Hawaii right in front of that I have the same soap dish tray that I use to like put my keys on when I get back or jewelry that I don't feel like putting in the right place right away then I have my deodorants one is from Dove one's from Native I just like to alternate them honestly and then to the right of that I have my growing perfume collection I've been really into finding pretty and beautiful smelling scents so this is what I currently have and then I have the same mason jar as before that holds my extra masks reusable utensils some dried baby's breath and some other nice smelly things <laughs> On the first shelf, we have some books and just a lot of tiny display items. You guys might recognize this marble pyramid from my last video. It's actually a jewelry holder, which definitely holds way more jewelry than I had previously. And then of course, I had to display my Hermione wand from Universal Studios. If you guys watch Vlogmas, you'll know all the fun that I had there. Moving on to the second shelf, we have some of my bags. This was definitely inspired by Alyssa Lenore. Her collection and interior design skills are way better than mine, but was inspired by her nonetheless. And then on the very bottom, I just have more of my books. This dumpling. <laughs> was actually made by my cousin she does these crochet like stuffed toys and then looking at the bookcase to the right of that we have my Yamazaki home coat rack I actually got this during a collaboration I did with them at the end of 2021 because I keep most of my clothes in my wardrobe especially my jackets I decided to use this more as a bag rack for when I want to switch up my bag on the go at the bottom of my coat rack, I have my file folder. I got it from Target years ago. They don't have it anymore, but they always have cute ones in stock, so definitely check there. And then moving to the right, we have my nightstand and my bed. Honestly, not much has changed here other than the top of my nightstand. Of course, I have my classic acrylic frames. You can get these on Amazon, but I got mine from my local home goods. I changed the Polaroids to be from Kenya's 30th birthday in Hawaii. If you guys want to watch footage from that, I have it all on a vlog up on my channel. And then we have this accessory stand. This was also from my collaboration with Yamazaki Home. In most of the inspo photos, this was actually used for jewelry, but of course I wanted to keep things a little more simple. I have some of my favorite crystals on top, and then some of my Chanel essentials, hand cream and lip balm on the bottom. Like I said, nothing has really changed for my bed other than my new whale friend. This was also made by my cousin, and then I moved the wire basket that used to be in between the foot of my bed and my desk right next to my bed. So you'll find my extra throw blankets, actually also beach blankets, extra pillows, and my favorite Duffy Pal. This fake plant honestly only moved over like a foot because it used to hide my heater when my nightstand was here. But now my basket hides that and the plant hides the outlet. So, everything still looks seamless. For the shelf above my bed, I've just added some luxury packaging that I've accumulated and this new octopus friend. This was a gift from Kenny, I believe in 2020. It flips inside out to show my mood and he's lucky I'm pretty happy right now. 
This corner of my room has been the most drastic change to this room tour and this video all started because of this mirror. So now that this mirror is up against this corner, I really just love how it reflects the rest of my room and it just really opens up the space even though I've kind of congested the room more. Fun fact, I actually use the back of the mirror as storage for things that I just couldn't find a place for. I also used the wire basket that used to be under my desk to help organize things. And then next to that, I have two more Yamazaki home pieces. First, I have this end side table that was actually advertised to be placed at the end of like a couch or a living area. And then we have one of my favorite pieces, which is this Yamazaki home clothing rack. Kenny actually ended up gifting it to me for my birthday a few years ago. As you can see, the wooden piece at the top can still hang pieces on the ends of it. So on the left, I have my bathrobe. In the middle, it actually holds quite a lot of clothing. And I usually switch out these pieces every season just to show some of my favorite items. And then it also comes with a bottom platform where you can put shoes or bags on which i used to do but right now i have more luxury packaging so this is my favorite angle of this corner and if you recognize it this is actually where i've been filming a lot of my fashion related videos i feel like it just turned into the perfect get dressed with me area and i love it we have the same storage bin from before that holds like an extra blanket and my heating pad on top of it, I have my Starbucks Reserve tote bag that I got from Hawaii. This has been my favorite work bag as of recently because it holds so much. <laughs> Before I show you my desk, I want to show you guys my windowsill because these little details make me so happy. So first I have some dried plants over here. This little pot is from Oakenfort and I love it. And then here, I have the same Polaroid of me and my best friends in Hawaii. And then these crystals. Like, can we just talk about it? This is the most color I have in my whole room, but I love it. And then, of course, we have my desk set up. I used to have the Alex 5 drawer set up, including a 9 drawer in the corner. I ended up selling everything except one of the 5 drawers to keep for storage and ended up buying this IKEA mom desk. It's a lot thinner in terms of tabletop surface space and it only comes with one drawer, but it perfectly holds all of my makeup and daily skincare. And I feel like I love the more simplistic clean look. So now I just keep my laptop, a coaster, <laughs> And in the back, I actually included one of these like wire organizers. I don't know if you can see that. And here I'm able to keep my charger for my iPad and my AirPod slash phone. And I can hide it in the back if I'm not using it, but it's still easy access for me. Next to that, I keep my pill case. I get a lot of questions about this. I got it on Amazon. And then I have the same mirror that I had from my last video. I actually got this when I first moved to this house. I spent $12 on it at Ross and it's my forever mirror. And then instead of keeping my skincare and makeup brushes in the corners like I used to, I decided to utilize this Lazy Susan that used to be on the other side of my room. I thought this was way more efficient. I can easily get to my daily skincare and my makeup brushes just by turning this. Also, if you're wondering, this is my current skincare routine for the winter season. And again, I just spin it around. I get to my makeup brushes, face brushes, eye brushes. These are actually bathroom containers from Target. In the back over here, I have my phone charging on a Anchor charging pad, which you guys know I love. And then I have some more skincare that was just a little too heavy for the lazy season. This is an old jewelry organizer that I've had since high school. This is the same Philips Go Light from before. It can change color, um, but because this corner of my room doesn't have any light, I like to use this. Whoop, so bright. <laughs> And then, like I mentioned, I did keep one of the Alex 5 drawers just for a little bit of extra storage. Office supplies, nail and medical things, hair, extra skincare and makeup, and a tech drawer. Of course, can't be without my reusable 
apple bag for my recyclables. My trash can is from Simple Human. And then I wanted to take you guys actually under my desk because I have a few things to show you. First, let's talk about this chair. I was super excited to get this for my last video. I got this on Amazon and it was quite affordable. But to be honest, I absolutely hate this thing. It is so uncomfortable. Some of the pieces like squeak when I sit on it. And I mean, overall, it's a very aesthetic chair, but I cannot wait to replace this in the future. Continuing under my desk, this is something I was so excited about and it's been on my Amazon wish list for such a long time. This is a surge protector tower. I used to have one of those regular surge protector strips, but when I was using it for like my hair tools, they come with really large plugs. I don't know what else to call it. And I would always have to unplug something else just to plug that beauty tool in. Here, everything has its own spot and nothing knocks into each other. As you can see, some of these things are like for my lights and my chargers and they all have their own spots. And I also love that it has some USB ports so I just keep my regular chargers here. I know the cords look a little messy but when my chair is pushed in, you don't really notice it. This is a storage caddy from Yamazaki Home. I used to have the wired basket under my desk. I decided to switch it out because I didn't like how you could see through the basket and you could see how messy all the cords and other stuff in here were. So when I saw this on Yamazaki Home, I thought it was so cute. And I just wanted to show you guys what I have in here. So multi-surface cleaning wipes. This is actually the pouch that comes with the Dyson Airwrap and I decided to use this to hold the other attachments instead of the larger bulky case it comes with because it just didn't match the aesthetic. My on-the-go makeup bag which is always full and ready. This is the Hot Tools one and a half inch curler and then my Dyson Airwrap and then some hairspray and it fits perfectly right here. So that was my whole desk area. I just love how functional and simple it is. And then we have my closet. Just like last time, we are not opening this because in order for my room to look this aesthetic, I obviously needed a place to put all my junk. So moving on. And then on the other side of my desk, I have my drawers, which hasn't moved since the last tour. Sorry about the reflection, but on the left side, we have this Polaroid photo frame. And then I decided to switch things up by buying some black and white Polaroid foam to make things look a little more classic. I decided to switch out the marble Lazy Susan that I had for this marble slab because I couldn't spin the Lazy Susan since the essential oil diffuser has a cord. Now, this diffuser is actually new. This one is from V. I have an electric lighter from Amazon, this gold candle wick cutter that I got in Hawaii, and I tend to switch out my candles every so often. I just switched back to this sand and fog one. And then I have the same fake plant from last time that's honestly looking kind of dead because the leaves keep drooping. And Kenny makes fun of me saying that I killed a fake plant. So, I mean, he's not wrong. And then on the bottom, I have the same Polaroid of my family from before. Gucci perfume that I got myself for Christmas. Daisy Marc Jacobs hand lotion that came with the perfume. If you're wondering why this isn't by my bookshelf, it's just because it doesn't match. But this is green and it matches the plant. And then in between my drawers and my Ikea wardrobe, I have this picnic basket from the beach people. And at the very bottom, I had an extra small marble board and I decided to put it under that so that it would protect the bottom from getting damaged in case I shifted a little. Before we end this tour, I wanted to show you guys some new organization things I did for my closet. The overall look hasn't really changed. I still have the same Ikea storage bins and now I keep my most used night bags at the top but on the inside I 
I've changed a few things. Anyway, for the most part, you can see I wear a lot of neutrals and it's organized in my eyes. Um, I've tried to color coordinate it and organize it by type of clothing. So from here to here are jackets. I have one black coat and then here I have my tops. On the right side, I have some of my most worn pants. You're probably wondering why this hanger is mismatched. So I love these thin hangers just to save space in my closet. And you see I have a pants, pants hanger here. But I saw this at Target and I thought it was really cool how you could just lift and basically have like the piece that you want come out at you. I have another one that I plan to use in the future and I keep that down here. So left side has a bunch of extra hangers and then these two baskets are also new from Yamazaki Home. These are the large laundry baskets. I decided to get two of them because one, it could fit in my wardrobe and so I could organize my laundry by the darks and the lights, which has made laundry so much more efficient. I love that whenever one of the baskets is full, I can just kind of pull it out, carry it by the handles, and take it to my laundry room. And then on the bottom shelf, which is quite thin, so I used to keep like my rain boots and other like not commonly used shoes down here, but I wanted to use it for clothes storage, so, I bought these tinier versions of the IKEA storage bins and they fit perfectly here. So in this one, I keep my jeans, obviously color coordinated. And in this one, I keep my shorts. This is actually a drawer organizer also from IKEA and I just keep some of my skirts in here that I didn't want to hang and it fits all perfectly right here so happy with this and then just for the sake of showing you guys this last one just has all my shoes but that is all that was the room tour i am so happy i can finally show you guys this space it's taken me a lot longer than i thought it would to finalize everything but i'm really glad with how everything turned out I'm going to be leaving links in the description box of key pieces of furniture in case you guys are interested and I'll be leaving a link to my blog where you guys can see more before and after photos and any other details about the room tour I didn't mention in this video. Before I end this video, I want to thank you guys so much for all your support and feedback from my very first room tour video because that has what inspired me to keep elevating my space and this video is all because of you. <laughs> if you guys have any specific video requests on other homey video ideas, let me know down in the comments. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to subscribe and watch this video. Your support means absolutely everything to me. I hope 2022 is treating you well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>